we have already seen how we were able to save that data without AJAX. We were directly able to take that data to the server and store it there. Now we shall study how to do the same thing using AJAX. You must have noticed one very interesting thing that we hardly write any code in MVC. Very little code is being required. Very very little rather. And the same thing will go on when we do it AJAX based. We'll see how little code will be required in converting this to AJAX. We'll start. Uh, let us see what do we have at present. Let us run it. We can store some record because I wanted to do something which we missed in our last lecture. So when you pick some photo or something developers me, when you save it, the record gets saved but this is not getting empty. So let us first do that. Make it empty and then we'll go for AJAX. You just need one line to do that coming to our home controller. Here when the record is saved, here we can write model state dot clear. Doing this particular line will actually remove all those fields and reset them to their default values. Let us run it and see what is the output. So we can type u at the rate u dot com date of birth select BCA and browse to some file and let us click save. So the moment we have clicked save these are all reset back to their original value. This is something that was missing in our previous one. So the line is model state dot clear. You don't have to write bulky code like we do it in ASP.NET set text empty do that here you just have to put model state dot clear and it will just reset the whole form back to the default values. Let us now go for the AJAXing of it. We have to put AJAX into this uh, here only. So I'll do one thing. I'll comment it off. Uh, wait a minute. Instead of... Uh, Ok, I'll start writing over here and then we can do changes here. I'll write the comment rather. So this comments of this line. Here I can write now at the rate using ajax dot begin form and now I can start writing the options here. One is AJAX options but uh, I'll need to still add this ink type here. So I'll have to choose the correct overload. The correct overload will be this one. Action name, controller name, AJAX options. So action is index controller is home and AJAX options I'll write new AJAX options and I can set all those properties into this one. Hope that this one is ok and now I can write the properties. First of all HTTP method is equal to post. This is one we'll need here. Then we can use on begin also so we'll have to tell the javascript function and we can find a suitable place here to include that javascript. I am just writing it too quickly here. Script type is equal to text by javascript and here I am writing function before uh, before sending and this is one quick 